Glenn in Northfield, Minnesota, writes to me and he says, Paul, I'm curious, does the age of a cartridge have any influence on the quality of the signal it'll produce? Do the magnets and or coils in a phono cartridge degrade over time, therefore degrading the output? Well, um, surely you know, of course, that the cantilever the, the, and the needle, uh, those certainly degrade with use. They're, they're mechanical devices. Um, oftentimes we have a little diamond tip on there, but and maybe a boron cantilever or something. Over time, those pieces, uh, especially the, the needle, can, can degrade. But magnets, not so much. Coils, not so much. What happens to a phono cartridge has more to do with the suspension. So if you picture a phono cartridge, there is something that, here's your needle, and, and, and at, let's say this is where that meets the record. And then up here is, on, if it's a moving magnet, you have a magnet atop. Or if it's a moving coil, you have a coil atop. Somehow this needle, this cantilever, is being held in place by something called a suspension system. Otherwise, it would just kind of fall out, right? That suspension system is the part that is most vulnerable to aging. And that's the part that, properly designed, should last you 20, 30 years. I mean, but over time, it will degrade. And yes, it will not sound as good as when it was brand new. Um, same with speakers. Speakers have uh, what we call surrounds. These are exposed over here. These are, uh, on these Sonys, are rubber surrounds. Um, over time, those surrounds will degrade, like on the IRS system. I've had to replace all the surrounds on the IRS because after like 30 years, they are degrading. I mean, it's, it's moving back and forth. It's volatile. It's just something that gets old over time, like the, the um, suspension uh, that holds up the cantilever in a phono cartridge. So yes, they will degrade over time. All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.